Right, here we go. So, um, we've got another plane to unbox today. Um, this one is a special one. It's a Airbus 321neo, but it's a Royal Air Force one. Um, so, I think uh, the Prime Minister sometimes flies on this and they use this on other uh, military occasions. I'm not too sure, but I think that's how they use it. So let's open it and see what's inside. So, we have the lovely Gemini Jets box again. Look at that, very nice. Uh, gold, black, red colours, or red is on the plane, but we've got gold, black. Um, it's nice and shiny too, so let's just do a quick tour of the box. Um, a really nice and li nice little clip opening they've got, where I unclip that and then it opens. But we see the plane on the side there. Uh, we can also see the back there, it's just some text, and then that's this side. And then on the back, what do we have here? Yeah, some more information, and it's a little bit dark, isn't it? Um, if I do that, yeah, you can see that very well. So that's on the back. Okay, now time to open it up. So, unclip it. There we are. Opens up very nicely. So, I'll take the cover off. Well, we can see in here, we have the stand. We'll assemble that later, but I'm just going to leave them there for now. And wow, look at that, so that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So we take the plastic off, uh, it's nice to protect it. Um, and then let's get out the plane, so... Ooh, oh, it's got the landing gears already on it. Oh, okay, that's interesting. The landing gears are, are glued in, I can't take them off. Hmm, I've not seen that before. Often models you can put them in and take them out, they're magnetic, so... That's what you can do, but this one, well, I suppose they're sort of stuck in there. Um, but yeah, that's fine because I always leave them landing gears on, so that's fine for me. Okay, no, nothing else in the box. Um, but there we are, so let's lay that on the table. So, oops. Uh, what 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 what's funny about all these planes is if you do that it falls, <laughs> so it's just sitting on its back tail strike. Uh, so often if you hit your cabinet, then they can all just tip back, and you can hear lots of clanging with that. Um, but okay, so let's look at the plane in a bit more uh, detail. I'm going to zoom in. So on the side we have the front door and look at that we've got a nice Union Jack printed on the door as well which we don't usually see on planes but I guess this is a military plane used for um, taking the Prime Minister everywhere so you've got a Union Jack there um, we've got the lovely United Kingdom printed in gold that's nice isn't it uh, we've got the engine we've got a little escape marking on the wing there you might be able to just see um, and then so right We've got a gemstone there, which is nice for the light, gives it a nice reflective feel. Um, also, we've got a Union Jack there, and I'm wondering why the hell is there a Union Jack specifically on this window? It's interesting. If anyone knows why, please do mention in the comments. But Okay, so let's turn it around and see the back of it. Okay, so we have, we have this, we, okay, so first we have the registration, but we also have this very interesting design of the Union Jack on the tail, and it curves onto the fuselage on this wavy pattern. Um, now, what do you guys think about this Union Jack on the tail? Um, I mean, I guess it looks cool, but in some ways it also looks a bit, um, what do you, how would you call it, a bit offset or you know it's distorted a little bit because it's diagonal and everything and you see this red red line gets thinner at the top um, so I'm not sure if I like it or not you'll have to make up your own minds on that but as always we've got the APU on the back there and let's just show you the wing tip actually the winglet so on the winglet we also have a similar design of the let's fix the focus we have the similar um, red white blue design like on the tail Okay, so now on to the other side. Let's turn it around. So this side is more or less the same. We have the Union Jack on the front 
window there, all the door markings, which is nice. We've got the blue line curving about the fuselage and the golden United Kingdom sign there. It's very reflective, which is nice to see. Um, we also have this random UK flag in the middle there again. And then we've got the registration and we've got some sort of little dome here. I'm not sure what that's for, maybe it's for the internet. Um, well, I've just realised the focus is not on the back, but there we go. It is nice, so you can see it well. Um, but there we go. So let's turn our attention to the wings and engines. So, um, well, what do we have here? We have the engines, nice. Um, we've got these little miniature wings on the sides of the engines. I think that helps the airflow go around the wings better, reducing turbulence, I think. But there we go. Um, so they look nice. Now, uh, let's go to the front of the plane. So here we can see the cockpit. And we've got the cockpit windows, uh, and we've got uh, an antenna there, and a few markings at the side. So that's lovely. Now, oops, see, it always tips back like that. It's lucky it doesn't do that on, on the uh, taxiways. All right, so, on the um, underside, I've just realized, let me uh, move the plane. Uh, oops, let me move the camera. Okay, so, on the other side we've got some markings on the engine there, which is nice to see, uh, and on that one. Uh, we've got the Gemini Jets logo very nicely printed on. We've got the, I think these little triangles are air intake things for the air conditioning. I might be wrong, so please do correct me if I am incorrect. Um, we've got the uh, registration there, which is nice to see. Um, but I've also just noticed there is a lot of writing, um, if you can see it there, just by the cargo door, which is nice. I'm going to try and see if I can read what that says. So... Okay, it is a little bit too small to be able to read, but um, if I zoom in, you, you can see exactly what I mean there, so... Um, right here just by the door there's a lot of writing but it's still really nice to see that they've put it on it gives it a very real feel to the plane um, but there we are so that's the A321 and I think before I end I just want to quickly oops uh, I just want to quickly compare this to another A321 that I have So I've got an A321 British Airways plane here, it's also a Neo plane, so they're both A321 Neos, they're exactly the same plane, um, but what I wanted to compare was, well, although they're the same, the landing gear comes off on this. Well, it usually does. Does it not? Oh, it doesn't, okay. My, my bad, I thought the landing gears did come off on then. Okay, so it appears I have very bad memory and the landing gears are fixed for a lot of the A321s. Um, perhaps I haven't been looking at my planes long enough to realise that, but... <laughs> I mean, I always have the landing gears on anyway, I never put the covers on for in-flight position. I always have the landing gears on, so maybe that's why I didn't notice. But there we go, so two of the exact same planes. We've got the British Airways and we've got the United Kingdom one. Um, do tell me which one you prefer more in the comments. Um, I think they both look nice. They both have their positives and negatives in terms of design. Um, well, let's just see the stand for um, the new plane we've got. So it's exactly the same. But so what we do is we have this centerpiece here. And what we have to do is we have to insert these metal spokes into them like this and sometimes it's really stiff and difficult and it you know doesn't go in very far but that's um well let's push it yeah that's gone in a little bit so I don't know if you can see yeah you can see that nicely and then we can push the other bit in nicely as well so well let's push that in oh that one that one went in a lot easier actually so as you can see here They've um, 
they've both gone in quite well, so this should stand up nice and steady like that. So we can now put the plane on the stand. Well, I say we can, but it's incredibly difficult for me to get this in here. If goodness me, um, it's not even going in. There's like a little rubbery ring in there, which is um causing a lot of resistance. Perhaps I'm, I'm really having to force this in now, and it's just oh my goodness. Well, this is not good, is it? Um. Rah. Oh, I think it's gone in. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's gone in. I had to push it quite strong though, and I, you know, don't really want to force these things because I, you know, feel like I might break them. But there we go. That's on its stand. Christ, that that's on its stand now. Um. Oh wow, yeah, lovely. Look at that. So we've got two A321s there. Oh, focus never behaves, does it? Okay, right. Um. So, well. Yeah, I think we'll end it there because I don't really, I don't think I have anything else to say for this model. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon. Alright, bye bye.